are so excited, so excited to be here with Miriam Aronin and her story, which is published in this, uh, this season's issue of Honey Cake Magazine. Welcome, Miriam. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here and share the story with all of you. So I'm going to pull it up so you can see, so you can all see the pictures. Oop, I might need Max to let me do that. Okay, I'll try again. Here we go. Here's the cover of Honey Cake Magazine. I know some of you have this at home. And we'll go straight to the story. This story is called Molly's Monday. Monday was Molly Matthews' favorite day because it started with M, just like her name. And Monday was when Molly and her moms ate muffins for breakfast. Molly wondered what kind of muffins they were having today. Would it be cakey blueberry muffins? Crumbly cornbread muffins? Homemade banana muffins? Molly jumped out of bed. I'm ready for my muffin, she announced. Actually, said Mama, it's still Passover. On Passover, we eat matzah, so we're not having muffins. No, wailed Molly. I know Passover can be hard, Ima said. Can you think of anything you like about Passover? Well, I liked the satyrs, said Molly and staying up late and asking the four questions. Definitely, what else? I got to drink four cups of grape juice, and I liked the hard-boiled eggs and the matzo ball soup. Do you want leftover matzo ball soup for breakfast? Asked Ima. Yuck, said Molly. Ima, it's supposed to be Muffin Monday. Hmm, would you like matzo with cream cheese for breakfast? Asked Mama. Or a hard-boiled egg with maror, suggested Ima. Molly shook her head and looked away. Masa and maror started with M, but those were cedar foods. Passover foods, not Monday foods. A full bowl of fruit sat on the table. She frowned at it. Apples, oranges, bananas, and a pear stared back at her. Molly took a slow, deep breath. We could all try that. She missed her Monday muffin. Suddenly, she had a magnificent idea. Molly reached out and grabbed a large fruit with a sturdy green and red peel. Today is Mango Monday, she informed her parents. Once the mango was peeled and chopped, Molly, Mama, and Ima sat down for breakfast. Mmm, I love Mango Monday, sighed Molly, taking a big bite. But let's have muffins next week when it's not Passover anymore. Okay? And that's the end of the story. Here's Honey Cake Magazine again, for those of you who don't have it and haven't asked Max for a copy yet. Um, and... Um, you want to do hidden pictures? Yeah, and if anyone wants to see the hidden pictures, you can try to find the picture of the muffin. Maybe we can unmute everyone. Maybe we won't find all the hidden pictures, but can anyone look in here and find the picture of the muffin from the story? I'll give you a <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It has a yellow top and a green bottom. You're gonna find it? It's right there. I found it. it. Yeah. It's right there. Is it in the front or the back of the picture? She found the like one from the guide. Oh, excellent. <laughs> That's really good. There's also one in the back of the picture. Can anyone find the one in the back of the picture? Found it. This is a tricky one. I found it. Yeah? Where, um... You found it, Bird? I did it too! We both did it! Both did! 
That's great. All right, I'm, I'm going to point to it. It's, it's, I don't know if you can see, but it's all the way in the back with the bushes. It looks, that's a very sneaky mushroom. 